advantage of hydraulic systems is that they can easily be operated at variable speeds. Most electrical motors run at a constant speed. However, in a hydraulic system, it is possible to vary the speed of the actuator without changing the speed of the prime mover. In the given example, the piston moves at a certain speed when the output of the pump is going directly to the cylinder. The speed is reduced to half when half the pump's output is diverted to the reservoir. Thus, the speed of the system can be changed without changing the pump or the pump speed. Another advantage is that a hydraulic system is easily reversible. Most prime movers are not reversible. The few that can be reversed have to be slowed to a complete stop before being reversed. A hydraulic actuator can be reversed while in full motion without causing damage to the system. In the given example, for the given position, the actuator moves forward. When the position of the directional valve is changed, the flow of the fluid in the system reverses. This results in the direction of the actuator being reversed. A hydraulic system equipped with a relief valve has protection against overload or overpressure damage. In the given example, the pump output is going to the cylinder under normal system pressure. When the piston encounters increased resistance, the system pressure rises. When system pressure tries to rise above the setting of the relief valve, the relief valve opens, directing the fluid to the tank, preventing any further rise in system pressure. This maximum setting of the relief valve determines maximum force capability of cylinders, and torque capability of motors. In a hydraulic system, the actuator may be stalled when it is overloaded without damage. Stalling an electric motor may lead to damage to the motor or a blown overload circuit. Systems using internal combustion engines also need to be restarted after being stalled. In hydraulic systems, the actuator can be automatically restarted when the overload is removed. In the given example, when the actuator stalls, system pressure rises. The relief valve opens and diverts the fluid back to the reservoir as long as the overload condition remains. Typically, Hydraulic components are compact in comparison to their output horsepower potential. Some may be quite small. The compact size does not hinder them from providing high pressure capabilities with high power output. Thus, a hydraulic system often has high power density as compared to other power transmission systems.